Hey, this is Mark at the Motor City Comic Con. I'm here with Marvel artist Ryan Stegman. How you doing? Good, good. Having a great show. Tell us, how did you get started working with Marvel? Uh, there's a website called Digital Webbing that actually, like, Ryan Otley and Mahmoud Asrar, we've known each other since we were, like, 18 years old. Because um, I would post my stuff on there, then I got a job uh, from somebody who paid me to draw their book called Midnight Kiss, which I then parlayed into a job drawing a book called Magician Apprentice, which was a novel adaptation. And then the company that I was doing that novel adaptation for was bought by Marvel, and then I just never stopped working for Marvel. I know you worked on She-Hulk and Spider-Man. What was your favorite work to work, you know, favorite titles to work on? Oh, probably Venom. I mean, it's just kind of, you know, uh, Venom was, you know, we did it for, me and Donnie did it for a few years, and it was, you know, like the biggest thing in comics at the time, and it just kind of changed my life, so I, I would have to say that one. What artists uh, were, were your inspirations? Um, well, my first inspiration was Todd McFarlane. Like, that was the artist that I fell in love with that made me realize that, that people actually draw these books, you know. And then um, I love Greg Capullo, you know, Michael Golden, Joe Manorera, um, J. Scott Campbell, Jim Lee, you know, all the image guys from the, you know, that era. Uh, that's really what I grew up on. So, you know, I have a lot of other influences now, but those were the ones that I started with. Now, you're a local boy. You're from Troy. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So when you were a kid, what comic book stores did you used to go to? Uh, there was one called Comics Plus that was at Square Lake and, uh, and John R. That is not there anymore. It's now called Cabinets Plus. Um, but it was a little tiny store and it was just run by one guy and, uh, I would go there, I would walk along Square Lake where there's no sidewalks and, uh, my mom would get mad at me and I just kept doing it anyway. Um, and I would go up there every Wednesday and buy a bunch of comic books and, you know, I became friends with the guy and yeah, I, I, I wonder sometimes if he's ever had a show like this. I haven't seen him in forever. Venture native, you're probably no stranger to this show. What, how many shows have you been to here? I, you know, I don't know. I was just telling him, this is my son, Harrison, um, that I used to come here when I was like 14 and 15. I would find like kids from my art class that were 16 that could drive. And I'd be like, hey, you want to go to the Motor City Comic Con? And I'd come here every year and show my art around. And then, you know, then I became a professional and I've been coming here. So it's, I, it, I, you know, I really don't know, but it's, it's been a lot of times that I've been here. Yeah. What's the first year you came here as a professional? As a professional, that's a good question. Um, I think I was doing She-Hulk, so whatever year that was, and I, I, 13 years ago or something crazy. So has this been has this weekend been a good turnout for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, this shows uh, always always um, kind of shocking how how well attended it is. Yeah, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Again, this is Mark at the Motor City Comic Con with Ryan Stegman.